What's up gamers? Welcome to another one of my videos here and I am going to show you guys my favorite place to build in Grounded. I don't know if it's the best place, but it's really high up there. So I'm going to take you guys there. We just started a new playthrough just so I could run through without uh, anything and show you that you can make it here just fine. So signal detected. Signal detected. We are going to run up here to the mysterious machine. Coming from. And then I'll take you there from here. A lot of my friends, especially on the stream uh, over on Twitch, see through underscore, by the way, um, they wow. ask what me all that? the time, like, what? Like, you know, I started playing grounded. I don't know where to build. So that's like a continuous thing. We're just going to walk right past the mysterious machine here. We are headed to the best place in the game, as far as I'm concerned, is. As to uh, build locations, I don't know. I've never really seen many people build here. Other streams I've jumped into, other videos. Uh, nobody, like I said, really, really I've seen build here. It's, a, it's actually insane for resources and everything, and I'll show you exactly why. So this here is the 2x4 that's stuck in the ground. Some of you might be saying, whoa, see-through. There is four wolf spiders that live around here. Well, I can tell you for sure... That when you're up here, you're safe from literally everything. Now we've got this little spiderling bug in us right now, but so there's about there's about six spiderlings that spawn uh, once every like seven in-game days, right? So about every seven in-game days. This is a great place to start the game. There's tons of resources around here, and I'll show you what they all are. And uh, even all the way to the end game, it's still a really good place to be. Gonna have a look around. What do you want, little buddies? God, they're sending the ar they're sending the army after me. All right, so we're gonna get started over here with the with the tree. Um, right on the other side of this wall, right here, there is a scanner. So the what are these things called? Good lord, I always forget what the heck they're called. I bet you if I get close enough to the wall, maybe it'll show me where. It's nope. Okay, never mind. So right on the other side of this wall, I usually just build a ramp up and over so I can go scan new materials and stuff that I find. Uh, also, we've got like an infinite supply of mites uh, for your starter arrows, as well as you can put acorn sap collectors all the way on this whole entire wall. So you can have like, you know, closer to the end game when you need a crap ton of sap, you can have it at your, at your ready, at the ready. Uh, secondly, clovers are everywhere over here. They respawn faster than you can chop them all down. Uh, so there's, you're going to have plenty of those. And then Whoa. if you go just right the here, you're going to have your, the, I call it the sprig field. So you can come over here and you can just run through this and you can just collect all the sprigs you could possibly imagine. All the sprigs you could possibly imagine. And you're going to, you know, you're never going to need sprigs again. Uh, also, if you're if this is like a new playthrough, you can grab the uh, rotten larva blade right there to help you out a little bit. Uh, you're gonna have two food spawns right Whoa, here, look at the size of that egg. and then back on the other side, Honestly, here's the here's the I'm field station I was telling you about. Special. See if I can up and over this log. Nope, gotta go back around. Uh, so lots of sap globules here too, sap clumps, I guess they call them. Um, just right around the area before you actually get started with anything. You do have to deal with the mite infestation, which isn't that big of a deal. You don't have to deal with it too bad when you're over here uh, next to the 2x4. You're going to have tons of... So so another resource that, you know, is kind of kind of hard to obtain over and over again is uh, web, silk web. So these, these webs respawn. If you don't chop this grass down, they respawn just about the same as the spiderlings do every couple days. Uh, once you get to that point, you're going to have rust that respawns here. Uh, it is a little limited to like where you can act, the way you can actually build up here. I usually build a flat platform so that, uh, you know, but you can't build around these nails, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, you do have kind of a easy rust supply. Um, and then as well over here, you'll have to dodge the two orb weavers on your way over. But as long as you, as long as you hug this can, they'll never, they'll never come attack you. But we've got a nice soda, soda can here. We can come get the sip out of every once in a while. And as well as another field station right here, if you need be. 
Um, when it comes to mushrooms, we've got mushrooms here. We've got an entire load of mushrooms underneath the 2x4, um, as well as some more just across the way over there. Um, that way you can start collecting your mushrooms early game if you plan on doing a big like mushroom brick build or something like that later on. Um, you're also going to be able to... Come on, what do you want? Are you going to kill me? Really? It's like that, is it? Oh, and then we got the mites. And then we got the mites. All right. Okay. Anyway. Um, so you got your sprigs. You got your grass. Tons of grass around here. Uh, a little shy on the dry grass, but honestly, if Having you just go over that way just a little bit, tons of dry grass right there. Um, sprigs were good on. Clovers were good on. Mushrooms were good on. We got a dandelion that respawns here. We got a couple stick locations. There's a stick right here. There's two that spawn back here on this corner. Uh, one here, one there. Uh, there's another piece of food that spawns right there where that Oreo is. And right to the right of that food, there's a tree. Uh, like one of these stem things that drops like 30-something stems every time you cut it down. Uh, there's also... So we've got one wolf spider that lives underneath of us in a cavern. He barely ever comes out, mostly mainly at night. Uh, we've got another wolf spider that lives underneath this underneath this uh, doll head here. He typically only comes out when you're chopping these sticks down. It's about... Aw, oh, sad face, dude. But yeah, I mean, for the, for the most part... Okay, this okay. Yeah, this actually spawned us like right here. Not bad. No luck on the second jump over. But uh, so you've got the wolf spider underneath the head. You've got the one underneath the two by four, and then you've got the one right here in this leaf pile. There is gonna be him over here once again. These guys don't really ever come out unless it's nighttime for the most part. So he's in there snoozing, and I'm stuck in this tree wad here. What the heck? Um, and then there's going to be one more wolf spider. If I can do this without dying to larvas. There's going to be one more wolf spider back here by this mushrooms underneath the fence. Dun -dun 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 -dun. See if he's actually home. Doesn't look like he is home. He usually sits about right around here. Um, and then also, you know, you're close to the hedge, so you can go grab your berry leather if you need it. Um, also, right up here is our three bombardier beetles. We've got our three bombardiers right here. So that's great for getting parts to get started and everything. Um, and then as well, if I can do this without dying, uh, right here in the middle... Right here in the middle of the pond area, this island right here, if you... Uh, what the heck was that? Oh, larva. Tons of clay, too. I mean, like, literally, there's every resource in the game is right here in this little area. And then if you need food, man, food for days, this island right here has, like, 20 to 30, like, aphids and weevils on here, like, regularly. Regularly. So, and then there we are. You know, our 2 by 4 is just right, right there, man. I definitely think this is probably one of the best strategically, you know, strategical areas to build in the game. We've got we've got a thorn bush right here. I mean, literally everything, man. Everything you need is right here in this little spot. Everything you need. So, let me know if you guys have ever built here in the comments and if you think there is a better place that I should go check out uh cuz I am a little biased about this place. I've built in other places, but they never seem to do as well. Um, you know, at the oak tree is kind of cool, but you're you're really short on all the resources you have. I've built out on the water over by the lily pads, same thing. Limited resources. We've got splinters that spawn here. We've got rust. Everything everything you need is right here at this little area, and it's pretty it's pretty secure. I'll tell you what I did today. Uh, I live up here on my well mode world. Uh, I put a waft emitter right here, and I put like ten black ox beetle parts in it. And all the black oxes just run up and they sit right here. They don't even bother destroying anything. I've got builds that go all the way to the hedge. And they just sit right here. You could put like 20 black ox beetle parts in it. And yeah, just sit here and drop some uh, fire staff stuff on them. But 
Anyway, guys, had to make this quick video. Um, I did record a video on how to get the Stump Lab burgle chip, but unfortunately, my microphone was not on for the whole entire time that I ran all over the world doing that video. So uh, do me a favor, guys. Hit the like button on this one. Subscribe if you're not. We've still only got like 5% of our viewers are subscribers, man, so I would greatly appreciate it. We're trying to get to 2,000. We're so close. So so close but uh we'll see you on the next one guys let me know in the comments by the way i already said this but if you know a better spot to build let me know and i'll check it out and uh if you're gonna come build here i want to see your builds man check out the links in the description here my discord's in there if you built here or have or are going to share me some pictures dude i want some inspiration i need some inspiration all the time and if you ever want to tune into our live streams every night from 8 to 11 central standard time on twitch just look me up as well, link in the description. Check out this video, guys, if you want to watch some more of my content, and I'll see you on the next one. Have a good one.